yes guys it's cg are back with another video and today guys we're going to be having another real seeds discussion and today we're going to be talking about deeper topic topics and these topics are going to be about facism discrimination and all that type of stuff dictatorship and all that type of stuff but yeah make sure you guys like subscribe and hit the post notification bell and i'll be posting more videos like this and yeah hope you enjoyed the video let's head straight into it let's go now guys the only people in one piece who actually um are dictators and are the ones who um put out facism and actually show facism in the country is basically Imu. if you guys know Imu, Imu is the only one who actually controls the one piece verse um ultimately basically so um if we're gonna have facism in real seas i think it should probably be like majority of it npc so that will make it so that fighting bosses will actually be important because then there could be facism um uh like a country could be suffering facism in real seas and there's a boss you need to fight who is the person who is actually um who is actually um abusing this facism and actually using it to keep the citizens like in hostage now guys if you struggle understanding what facism means or if you don't know what it means it ultimately just means basically oppressing your own ideal thoughts onto people um other people basically so think about the big h the german leader he was a fascist he didn't allow the jews to do certain stuff um certain things that's basic here so basically in short terms you're controlling your area or controlling whatever now guys imu is kind of similar in this type of way because imu doesn't allow other people's opinions to be outside they like imu oppresses everyone in the whole one piece verse except from joy boy who is the liberator of freedom and i think what would be pretty fun in real seas is if they can actually make like bosses who were actually um doing this type of stuff to islands specific islands like maybe like do flamingo or something there are bosses for these then there's like a small kind of story i guess to it for the different islands that you find and stuff like that so then it'll make it more fun fighting the bosses because there's a reason to actually fight them instead of just fighting them for loot now guys what i think rosie should also do is that in the holy lands like the holy land where all the celestial dragons stay and stuff like that um there's fascism there so basically you have to be doing what they want you to do if you do otherwise then they can kill you that i want them it'll be better if they were p npcs but yeah um so if you don't do what they like then they have the right to kill you they can just kill you like and they can just not if they don't like what you're doing they can they can always persecute you for what you're doing so then it makes it so that the islands have their special uniqueness to it so that not i not all islands you could do anything you want in them in some islands you're restricted to doing stuff i think it would also be pretty sick if you were another race and some islands um are like racist to you in a type of way so you know um the fishmen they're kind of not liked like the blacks but um, uh, um yeah you know um for the celestial dragons they don't like the fish man so they just don't like them in the area so if you're a fish man and you come to the area they might not like you they might just shoot you they might do something to you that you won't like and then you can't really go there so then that also adds to the uniqueness of the islands so that makes it so that not all islands are just easy to just go around and do whatever you want because that's just boring like there has to be uniqueness to different islands and we could talk about that in another video as well later on but yeah that's what i think they should do in real seas now guys talking about dictatorship i think this would be so good if real seas add this so what i think that they should do is that they should make it so that pirates can actually own islands so there'll be islands with citizens you know there should be citizens in islands real seas are going to do that there's no doubt about it and it'll be pretty sick if like as a pirate you can you can work your way up to own islands or like just like um kick out the owners and 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 own the islands for yourself and yeah i think that'll be pretty sick because then if you own an island then people will be scared because they know that you've got a lot of power you own stuff you 
you got a lot of power so they wouldn't really want to mess with you so i think that would be pretty good i just malfunctioned my bad but yeah guys this was just a quick video about dictatorship and fascism and all that all that type of stuff that nasty stuff um yeah uh this is what i think they should do in real seas you know one piece is a one is a anime that is basically like covering most things that are happening in the real world so it'll be great to see Rosie's adding stuff that are actually happening in the real world in a type of way but yeah if you guys enjoyed the video if you guys liked what i said please drop in the comments or also drop in the comments any other ideas you guys want me to go over and yeah stay safe peace